Hi there YouTube, Extreme Trains here. Yes, I know, it's been a while. But that's just because I haven't had anything new to review for you guys. Until, during the uh, kind of lockdown uh, COVID-19 crisis of 2020, I've been uh, spending more time on my computer, Googling things, uh, and I found out that Toys R Us Australia the second, um, which is actually just now just an online store run by another hobby company, um, actually got in the new wave of Thomas Merchandise for 2020, and that included some of the new 75th anniversary stuff. So, as you would have guessed from the thumbnail and title of this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Diamond Anniversary Thomas, uh, the Trackmaster Push Along engine. What are you waiting for? Let's do it. So let's take a look at the packaging on this. Um, it's quite similar to the, you know, the standard now push along Trackmaster um, packaging. Although my understanding is that's actually changing um, later in the year slash next year. But anyway, um, you do get this really nice uh, little foil thing on here, which I think you can actually remove because it seems like it's separate. But we're gonna suss that out. It's like a separate sticker, um, so you may actually better remove that. Uh, you can dive into the Thomas push along. You can see the engine in here, metal engine. Um, there's no extra info, unfortunately, about why it's Diamond Thomas. Um, and then you just have a picture of the other engines, which I assume are in this wave. Also works with motorized engines on your Trackmaster track. So there's all the blah blah there. Um, yep. Yeah, okay. Cool. That's enough for the box. All right, so the first thing to note is, yes, this is a sticker. You can pull it off. Um, it's just quite difficult to do that. It's just like a little cardboard piece. But it does mean if you want to keep this uh, little 75th logo from the packaging of the 75th um, items, you can do that by pulling it off like so. Um, the next thing we want to do then is grab the Thomas. So we're going to do a quick spin, and then we're going to start from the front. So we've got the uh, classic uh, Trackmaster push along face, which I think is very good, good CGI face. Um, you can see here we've got the uh, classic coupling for the new Trackmaster system here. You've got printed buffers, which I didn't expect, in that, you know, faux diamond kind of colouring. And if we come to the side, that's where the magic really starts to happen. What you can see is we've got a transparent kind of... Um, blue chassis in a dark blue within this like light ice blue wheels with glitter inside of them which looks really nice then we've got a solid blue running board through the middle here and then we have this like don't know what color it is but it's been vacuum metal blue shiny metallic painted with the um little diamond patterns on there which is really nice which come around to the top so the diamond patterns on the side come around to the top and there's no more diamond patterns um but you do have this really nice 75th logo printed on top there, which is also what's printed on the 75th minis. Um, and then you come around to the side, you can see more of that again. And you can see Thomas's boiler is also done in like this slightly lighter blue um, kind of uh, finish. It's just, it's a smooth finish as opposed to this one, which is like a glitter finish. You come around to the back and yes, you even have printing on the back. Um, which is like not what I was expecting from this. And again, you also have printing on these back buffers. So they really have gone to quite a lot of effort uh, to make this a, a really special Thomas. Now, originally I didn't understand why it was diamond, um, but that's just to do with like, you know, wedding and like a diamond wedding anniversary or something. And my understanding, my understanding was a diamond wedding anniversary was 70 years, not 75, but like, okay. Um, if there's another reason that anyone knows why they've, made him a diamond uh please let me know but my understanding is that's why he's um he's diamond i just thought it was 70 years was diamond um or well, 60 years was diamond even potentially i'm not sure yeah 60 i thought 60 anniversary was diamond things i don't know about real life anyway um but yeah otherwise that's pretty much it for the model you can see you've got a little thomas on written on here um 2018 copyright but yeah otherwise there's not a heap much more to talk about this thomas toy so the last thing to talk about very, very briefly um, in this uh, review is the price that I paid for this Loco. Now, um, the price for these small um, Trackmaster push-alongs varies wildly. The cheapest price I've seen them on shelves has been uh, $5, which is at Woolworths, which is a supermarket in Australia. Um, I didn't buy this from there. As I said, I bought it from Toys R Us, and they were selling it for $4.99. Um, 
and it was the only one of these Trackmaster pushlongs that they were currently selling at the moment, which is interesting. Um, which makes me think that potentially this one does get sent to retailers all by itself. It's not in a mixed assortment with other um, the, of these engines. Normally there's a, like, you know, for example, on the back of the packet, normally uh, my understanding is when they send these out to retailers, they get a box which like has these four engines plus Thomas in it, for example, but it doesn't seem like that's the case in this circumstance. So um, yeah, he was $4.99 um, at another toy shop website. I saw him for $5.99 and also for $6.99. So there's quite a different v variety of prices that's going on here. Um, I don't think this should be charged any more than a standard uh, push along because while, you know, yes, it's a special edition, whoops, dropping him. Um, you know, yes, it's a special edition engine. It's also, you know, that's, you know, just part of the course. It's the way you would expect it to work. Um, I don't really like it when they charge extra for the special edition ones because you've had so many normal ones like this, which are way cheaper to make because they have no printing on them, blah, blah, blah. Um, you should be able to splash out for a special edition one for the 70th anniversary of Thomas and Friends. So, yeah, I think if you're paying five, six Australian dollars for it, you're probably getting your value. Anything more than that, someone's just trying to make money off you because you are a Thomas super fan like me. Um, but yeah, again, I haven't seen any of these in stores. Thomas stock in stores in Australia has really gone down the uh, the toilet, for want of a better word. Uh, it's really bad. Um, I know a couple of, of the uh, independent kind of toy stores that I've seen around um, just don't stock any Thomas at all anymore. They've completely removed their Thomas section. Um, the other stuff I've, all I've really seen is, you know, bits and pieces here and there. I haven't found any Thomas minis this year in stores. Um, I bought a couple of eBay from someone who I don't know where they got them from. And yeah, as I alluded to in one of my posts, I did try and buy some from an online toy store, but they sent me 2019 minis instead of 2020 minis. So they are going to refund me, which is good, but yeah, that's not a good time. So yeah, these were the, the, the first thing I could really find from the 75th anniversary slash new Thomas range. But yeah, it does seem like this stuff is trickling out um, uh, into into stores, but I just haven't seen any physical stores, only online ones. But yeah, as I said, let me know your thoughts. I'd love to know if you're planning to pick up this Diamond Thomas. As I said, I don't collect the um, Thomas Push Long Trackmaster, but I think this is a really nice engine. Um, and it's really cool, especially if you're a bit of a fan of Thomson Friends. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts on this one. Um, do those cool things you do on YouTube. Like, subscribe, comment, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and make sure you stay safe. And otherwise, that's what we've got time for. This is Extreme Trains. Mm -hmm.